All right, so uh, what I want to do in this video is show you how to use the general databases to find uh, broad popular information about Jane Austen or Lady Susan. Um, this is the third option in your uh, annotated bibliography list. So I'm going to go to the main university website for the library and I'm going to go to databases and articles. Uh, and I want to go to general databases. This is a little bit new, okay? Um, I want to go to Academic Search Complete. Notice that it includes journals and magazines. So I'm kind of interested in this part, the magazines, okay? Um, Academic Search Complete, which you're probably familiar with. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, a general search. I want to find stuff on Jane Austen, okay? Um, and I want to limit this to... Uh, let's see, publication type, um, I want to try periodical, okay? Um, there are a few other things you can do um, with your limitation features here, but um, let's just see what happens when I do this, okay? Uh, what we're looking for here are articles in magazines that are things like um, the Atlantic magazine or Time magazine or the New Yorker or the Economist magazines that are not scholarly journal articles but things that you might you know have a subscription to through the mail right um, um, and we're looking for articles inside those magazines that um, are, you know, not just one tiny little page or half a page, but, you know, something a little bit more substantial, okay? Not a scholarly article, something that's more generally read and generally accessible, but still, um, you know, somewhat substantial, okay? So this gives, gives me almost a thousand results, okay? Um, I don't want scholarly journals, okay? But it does give me the option here to limit this now to magazines. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna limit it to magazines um, instead of uh, scholarly journals, okay? And I do not want trade publications, definitely not, okay? Trade publications are things like, uh, you know, if you're in the fashion industry, it might be Women's Wear Daily, okay? Um, something that's meant for that industry. So um, those we exclude because they're just going to be, um, they're going to give you, if they give you anything at all, they're going to be super short, tiny little, little, little snippets of information um, that are not appropriate for what we're doing. Okay, so... Um, here is Jane Austen behind bars, teaching the humanities to increase humanity in corrections today, okay? This is a four-page, five-page article, six pages, okay? Um, you know, this, this could be interesting, um, but it depends on what your interests are, okay? Um, here is a one-page, or sorry, a two-page article, which is a little bit too short for us, in a, 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 about Jane Austen's uh, novel Sanditon um, in a magazine called America. Um, Time and Certainty, Jane Austen and Rene Descartes have tea from something called the New Oxford Review. Um, but this is about a short story that just has Jane Austen in the title, so that is not relevant for us. Here's an article from The Atlantic, right, which is a great resource, a great popular magazine that has good substantial, you know, articles in it. Um, Jane Austen is everything, okay? This would be a, a good source. Um, Quadrant Magazine. This is about children in um, Jane Austen. This is about Pride and Prejudice, but it's kind of interesting that um, there are children, of course, in Lady Susan, too, one in particular. What Jane Austen knew about class. This could be a really interesting um, source from the New Statesman, okay? Um, mind and Mindlessness in Jane Austen. So you get the point, okay? We're looking for things of slightly longer length, um, but in magazines rather than sort of scholarly journal articles, okay? Um, these will be more accessible to you um, in terms of how they're written, uh, and they will give you a, a bit of a broader, sort of uh, more popular perspective, okay? Um, here's this article, Jane Austen is Everything. Um, when you have the option, get the PDF full text, because what that will do is it will show you the actual page image, okay? How it actually looked on the stage, uh, sorry, on the page. Um, as you can see here, okay? Um, so this is an article. Um, it's a four-page article in the Atlantic Magazine, um, and this would be the kind of resource that you're looking for, okay? Um, there are lots of things out there. Uh, you just wanna make sure that you are um, 
limiting your results to magazines rather than scholarly journal articles. Here's another one, okay? Capers and Frisks, Jane Austen's Children, okay? Now, this is about Pride and Prejudice, right? But, you know, it might be interesting if, if, you're, if you're curious about, about this. It's a, it's a good example of a popular article written for a popular audience, um, and it's in a magazine rather than a scholarly journal article, okay? Usually, when you find full text, there are options for you to cite um, over here somewhere, I'm not exactly sure where they are. Here it is. Uh, you just kind of have to hover over it. So here's the citation um, feature here. So if you click cite, um, something will come up that's kind of like this. I don't exactly know what you'll see because you might be working with a different interface. This is EBSCO's interface. Um, but if you scroll down, here is the MLA one. Now, you always, this so you can just copy this and paste it into your annotated bibliography. But the thing you want to watch out for is um, details like this use of all caps. This is incorrect, okay? It should not be all caps. You need to physically go in and change that, okay? Um, so this is how you look for um, materials that are online that are using general uh, magazines, general databases, slightly more accessible materials, okay? Um, this is just searching for Jane Austen, but if I wanted to see if there was something out there on Lady Susan, let's try. Now I probably want to add Austen in here just to, you know, be sure I'm getting the right Lady Susan. I don't know what I'm going to get. We'll see. Um, it's still limited to magazines, so we'll see what um, what comes up. I may have to relimit these things. Publication type, periodical. Ah, here we go. And I want to limit it um, to source types magazines. There are only two uh, things that come up here. Um, Kate Beckinsale goes full Austin. This is about the adaptation of Lady Susan that I was telling you about called Love and Friendship. Um, and here is an article uh, called The Wicked Lady. Um, it's from a magazine called Sight and Sound. And it too is about, um, it's an interview with the, the director of that film, Love and, Love and Friendship. Okay. Um, so, so these are two other options. If you wanted to use this to find information on, say, governesses um, and um, maybe fiction, okay? Maybe I want to find some general information about that. Um, again, remember to go and limit it to magazines. If you want to find academic journals, feel free. But um, anyway, you can you can kind of um, browse around here, uh, you know, as much as you like. But I do want you to find try to find one article that is, you know, from a popular source, um, a magazine, okay, not an academic journal. Um, and you want to find it, you want to um, download it, you want to read it, and you want to use it in your works cited um, and your annotated bibliography for uh, your three sources, okay? Um, so just remember that when you go to your, um, when you go to your, um, when you go to, to work on your annotated bibliography, you're doing three sources, and I have prepared a video for you on what an annotated bibliography looks like um, in the assignment page, okay? It's also available in our, um, in our uh, list of videos, okay? All right, let me know if you have any questions. Happy researching.